Welcome to eLighter's YouTube channel. This video is to demonstrate how to properly refill and empty a lighter. First, here are some simple safety instructions. When emptying a lighter, please keep the lighter away from the face as well as away from an open flame, heat source, or source of static charge. Please do not try to ignite a lighter while it is being emptied or refilled. Keep the lighter and butane gas away from children. Please empty the lighter in an area with good ventilation. Please browse through the warnings on the butane cartridge, like this one for instance. And if the lighter has a cover, please keep it closed while emptying the lighter, like this lighter for instance. So don't empty or refill it with this open. Make sure the cap is closed. And some lighters, most of them, will come with warning or safety instructions. To refill a lighter, first you need to locate the butane valve, which is normally located at the bottom of the lighters. So on this one, it's right here. You can see where the valve is in the middle. And on this one, it's right here. Just a couple of examples. Okay, so the first thing is to make sure that the lighter is actually empty. So to empty your lighter, you hold it upside down, so we have the lighter upside down, away from your face and perpendicular to the ground, using either a ballpoint pen, a screwdriver, or a butane screw. You want to apply pressure to the butane valve until there is no hissing sound. Still emptying. Okay, no hissing. Done. So after emptying the lighter, you locate the flame adjuster on the lighter. So on this one, it's on the same place as the butane valve. You can see the plus or minus sign. And on this particular lighter, they have two different spaces. So you can see the plus or minus sign over here and the butane valve over here. Just two examples. What you want to do is get a flathead screwdriver or a butane screw thing and you want to adjust the flame to its lowest possible setting. So turn, 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 lowest possible setting towards the minus sign of course. The reason being it shuts off the butane supply to the lighter's burner so there's less of a chance for air bubbles to form which causes the lighter to gasp when you try to light it. Light it. As far as butane goes, we recommend you use triple refined, any brand is fine. This is Vissel, it's made in England. Um, as long as it's triple refined, it should be okay. The reason we recommend that is because it has next to zero impur impurities, which would otherwise clog the lighter's burner. And also, the butane canister just needs to have a standard nozzle, which would fit into most butane valves. So holding the lighter upside down and perpendicular to the ground, press the butane canister's nozzle down the lighter's butane valve for 5 to 10 seconds. There is no need to pump the canister, just let go. Gravity, not gravity. Do the work. No need to hold it longer than 10 seconds. And if you hear hissing sound while you're filling the lighter or it starts leaking butane, it is probably already full. Again, 10 seconds is enough, you saw that. Lighters like this one that come with a butane fuel window are pretty handy. So you can see just how much butane there is, if you're actually refilled it, if it's empty, if it's leaking, it's, you know, quite obvious. Once the lighter is full, leave it aside for three minutes to ensure that all of the gas is room temperature, decreasing the chances of malfunction. You should not be hearing a hissing sound during this period as it means you're either have filled it too much or the lighter is defective in leaking butane. After three minutes, readjust the lighter's flame from its lowest possible setting, you know, from all the way to the minus sign, to the middle, you know, halfway point. Um, okay, in doing so, you should ignite the lighter. Ta-da! All right, so if you're unhappy with the flame you get, all you have to do is adjust it. So more, less, more, less, 
more. Totally your call.